Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're gonna be installing part number SEAT-771 on our Yamaha Drive 2. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in that kit and the tools we're gonna need before the installation. So when you first open up your kit, you're gonna find your seat back and seat bottom cushions. After your cushions, you're gonna find your new seat back brackets, your vertical support, and your foot plate brackets. After all of your brackets, you're gonna have your foot plate, and then after your foot plate, you have your flip frame. And finally, we have our two handrails and our box of hardware. Now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna need to perform the installation. First up, we have our socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, a half inch, and an 11 16 socket. We also have a four millimeter and a five millimeter hex key. Following that, we have a 10 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, a half inch, and an 11 16 open-ended wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and of course, some safety glasses. And now before we get started, we just wanna go over a few safety precautions. And now as always, we wanna make sure that we turn our cart off, set our parking brake, and if we have an electric cart, we're gonna flip the tow run switch to the tow position. And then once that's done, we're gonna start by removing the OE seat back cushion. Now that our front seat back cushion is removed, we can go ahead and remove our rain gutters. Now that our rain gutters are removed, our next step is to disconnect our top struts from the seat back brackets. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we put some kind of prop rod underneath the top so it doesn't fall down on our head. Now that our top struts are disconnected, our next step is to remove our seat back brackets. Now, on our cart, you'll notice that the seat back brackets are not the OE seat back brackets, but the OE ones remove exactly the same way as we're about to show you. So before we remove those, we gotta make sure that we remove the gasket that covers the gutter and the seat back bracket, and then we'll be able to access the bolts. So now that our factory seat back brackets are removed, we can go ahead and install our new seat back brackets. Now, when we do this, we wanna make sure that the mounting tabs for the top struts face the outside of the cart. Now that our seat back brackets are loosely installed, our next step is to install our vertical support. Now our cart has a lift kit on it, so the bolts that were in the factory locations are not the factory bolts, they're actually larger diameter bolts for the lift kit. However, you would just remove those factory bolts and replace them with the supplied hardware. But because we have different bolts, we're just gonna reuse the bolts that are in there. Now that our vertical support is loosely attached, we can go ahead and install our flip frame. Now that our flip frame is installed, we can go ahead and install our foot plate. Once our foot plate's installed, we can go ahead and attach our handrails using the foot plate brackets. So now before we run back through the entire kit and tighten everything down, we need to reattach our top struts. For this cart, we're just gonna reattach our factory struts to the new seat back brackets. However, if you're gonna be using our 88 inch extended top, you would need to use part number TOP-0108. And the way you would install that would be right here on the handrail. You would mount it up, clamp it in place, mark the holes that you would need to drill, and then you would go ahead and drill those holes. But like I mentioned before, we are going to just be reinstalling the factory struts and the factory top. So we're gonna go ahead and put those bolts in and then once that's done, we can go back through the entire kit and tighten everything down.
Now that all of your hardware is tightened down, we can go ahead and install our seat cushions. We're gonna start first with the OE seat back cushion. We're just gonna reuse the OE hardware. Now that our OE seatback cushion is installed, we can go ahead and install our rear seatback cushion. Now that our rear seatback cushion is installed, we can go ahead and install our rear seat bottom cushion. Now when I install these seat bottom cushions, I like to start at the two top corners here. I get the screws mounted there, and then once I get those two lined up, everything else lines up great. So start with these two upper corners, make sure those line up, and once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back through the entire seat bottom and attach everything. Now that our seat bottom cushion is attached, our next step is to reinstall our rain gutters and our gaskets. Once that's done, that's going to complete the installation for part number SEAT-771 on our Yamaha Drive 2. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.